Welcome to the Compacito. I am the Latter Day Arbiter. Basically, I've been going around for the most part, just living my life, trying to find joy. Not necessarily happiness, because happiness and pleasure are very temporary. But rather, I've been looking for joy, even in this pandemic where, yes, even while vaccinated, we still have to wear masks. Makes us feel a little silly. But rather, I think it gives us an opportunity to be able to learn how to better choose our leaders. But we shall see where that leads to. So, I had a thought in mind. And this is why I'm posting this video. It's because we all struggle with our own inner demons. We may even struggle with literal demons. We may even be feel ourselves closer to the adversary than closer to God. I remember a friend of mine, not going to say the person's name, but there was a possession of demons. And the only reason why I could not get them out of her was because she was still holding on to them. She didn't want to be cleansed. I did my best to help and now she's gone from my life. I don't know where she is. I'm not saying she's dead. I, at least I hope she's not dead. But I still want to Wish her the best of luck and hope she finds joy in her life. And I remember in my life having been attacked by demons every once in a while. Now, when I was, it felt easier for me to disband them in my own way because I was willing to let it go. I was willing to seek that deliverance. And when I sought it, despite the noise being louder and louder in my head, I managed to calmly pray my way to deliverance. And I would be blessed with an overwhelming sense of peace and joy. I think we can take that lesson into consideration, the fact that we all struggle in our own way. Maybe even, because even the righteous people can be afflicted by demons. It doesn't say that the saints or the apostles or the prophets, it doesn't say that they were immaculate. It doesn't say that they were sinless. The only sinless person that ever lived on the earth was Jesus Christ. And I think, I think it's actually a good thing that we are imperfect because it helps us learn to be better. If it were run by, if the church or the entirety of Christianity or Judaism were to be conducted and correlated with perfect people who did not need a reconciliation for their sins, but or even live out their lives thinking that they were in no need of any kind of redemption for, the, for whatever behavior that they were, it would feel pointless. Because then, what good is it for those people to be sinless if we feel like we're being put down because of our sins? I'm not saying that different religions are wrong for believing that they were immaculate. 
But rather, I'm just giving the idea of my perspective. God always dealt with imperfect people. That's how it's always been. Even with Christ, he had to deal with imperfect people. Reminds me of a scene from this show called The Chosen I watched. Basically, uh, they were in the Samaria. And the Samaritans threw stones at James and John and Jesus. Jesus was holding them back, but John and James wanted to fight back. They wanted to retaliate. They wanted to bring thunder and lightning and a whole reign of fire to destroy all of Samaria. Just because they were people that were different than them, that disagreed with them, and that just didn't like them. You really think that they would have been immaculate? That's not free from sin. That was a show of humanity. Because we all get frustrated with people for the most part. I remember growing up in high school hating the Spaniards because of my ancestry was being Native American to Peru. And they were conquered by the Spanish. And they were enslaved by the Spanish. And they didn't know what it meant to have that kind of liberty. But I reconciled and I realized my mistakes. And thus I was able to overcome my own prejudice of the past. I feel like people are forgetting to reconcile the past. Especially here in America. This is a great country. And yet we feel like our present situation was because of the past. And because of that, we were meant to destroy it and rebuild it into something that is less than the ideal that it was supposed to be from the beginning. Do you think a country that was founded on imperfect people that knew that they were imperfect would say that one day our, there will be a generation that will destroy everything we built for just to satisfy their own desires and lusts and foolishness? I don't think so. They knew that they had that they were imperfect. They knew they weren't the best people. Even the slave owners, some of them realized that there had to be an end for slavery if there was going to be freedom for all. It wasn't just about the whites. So they let it play out to the point where line upon line freedom could be attained. For all people, for women, for blacks, for all people of all colors and creeds, and even one day for the unborn. I really hope that that would be the case. Because to see this kind of genocide these days makes me sad. But I hope one day we can be able to reconcile our past instead of having to force a false sense of a false sense of prejudice just because one person is different than the other. We don't have to be divided. Why should we? I think we can do better. And I leave that with you, knowing that you can do better as well as I. So God bless and take care.